There is a very prominent idea that is presented in New Age spirituality that undermines all, all of the work that the student undergoes, or at least a vast majority of it. That's the pitch I'm going to try to make. That's the idea I'm going to try to sell, you could say. And I have good proof for it. This is where this is the direction my mind is going. The people who run this world are, or those at least trying to be a part of it to their own and to everyone else's detriment, the people who run the world are doing their best to make sure that the masses are confused. They are doing that by removing absolute truth and replacing it with relativism. It means truth can be whatever we want it to be. It means right and wrong can be argued for as well. But, but, this is a half-truth. Mainstream occultists, whether by their need to fit in or something more insidious, really want to hammer in this idea that everything is an illusion. Now, I want you to remember that because we're going to get to that later in this, in this essay that will hopefully develop into a more cohesive video. Um... That everything is an illusion. Remember, there, there's a very prominent idea that's presented in New Age spirituality that undermines all of the work that the student undergoes. <clears throat> this is the idea, um, and this is that idea. We've gotten to the idea that everything is an illusion, but but it's coming from all angles, and there's some angles that I, well, you'll see. Uh, why? It shows that nothing has meaning until we apply meaning to it. A powerful message, right? Makes sense, right? This harms the practitioner, however, because it confuses them. It's like giving someone the power of a nuclear bomb and not telling them what it's capable of. Not telling them that they could actually blow up the entire planet with it. If it's not used properly. So this this idea that everything is an illusion comes. I, I I was watching a video on Bashar, who sometimes I'm all about and sometimes I'm not, It'd be, and it could be because of this. Now I don't know if. Well, we'll get to that later too. I'll, I'll let me finish. I'll I'll get I'll get to some juicy stuff in a bit, but let me get through this. A video on illusion. That's what that's what this video is going to be. Show how it's a half truth. Um, and the idea was presented on this nonsense about how electrons communicate sim simultaneously. The, the idea of quantum mechanics where uh, electrons communicate with each other simultaneously because they travel faster than the speed of light, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, it's not because they're... And the idea is because there's... Because everything is an illusion. There's only the here and there is only the now. There's no such thing as space and it's all an illusion. But I would like to... this The, the, the aim of this video is to say that that's ridiculous. That's nonsense. That's not, that's not how it works. I'm going to give some examples like in that now. But uh, communicate simultaneously is not because they're it's not because they're both here and now, which is what Bashar preaches or the other channelers will preach. It's not that. It's because they are being project, projected from the same place. And this reality that we are in the three the three dimensional, they are they they're the two objects are separate. Separateness does exist, right? This is the objective slash subjective debate. The information just isn't traveling through our space; it's traveling from source. This is like seeing a movie reel. Uh, from the projector, it's one beam of light, and you know you have the reel. And from our perspective, we can see the beginning and the end of the real. But it's but but the real is still held separate in its own dimension. This is this is crucial. It is not the the real is one thing, but in its dimension there are principles in place that hold events separate. That's how we can have an illusion. Anywho, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um it's traveling from source. This is like seeing a movie reel from the projector. It's one beam of light. Right? The, the movie projection is one beam of light, but all the information is contained within that beam of light. And the, and the mechanisms of existence are contained in everything as above, so below. So they're contained in that beam of light. And so when that beam of light strikes a surface, whether it's three dimension, fourth dimension, second dimension, when it strikes a surface, it then, it, it then, unf it then unfolds, unfolds into its experience. 
Um, to be quite honest, I don't think I like at all the idea that everything is an illusion. That's like saying the 2D doesn't exist because it's not as real as the th- as the 3D. But then that's like saying the fourth dimension isn't real because it's not as real as the fifth dimension. Or like people in the sixth dimension saying, oh, the fifth dimension's not the, not real reality because it's not re-. Nothing is as real as absolute truth, period. Yes. But that, but be, but because of that that means everything is real everything is real because everything is even on the playing field it's it's a it's, there's like 18 videos in this one video so i'll try to stay on topic it's like saying um the uh so the movie real is all one thing the reason there is a movie in the first place is due to the objective objective illusion the illusion of separation is what gives us a reality in the first place what's more important is how to operate what's what's more important than being hammered in the head of it's all an illusion is how to operate within the illusion so what's most important maybe this can be the hook of the video or a loop in the video that i can sort of build off of what's more important i'll i'll, I'll underline that actually so i can write that down Welcome to my behind the scenes video scripting, you guys. I hope you're enjoying yourselves here. This one's going to be for the whole squad, so you guys can all see it. And here, what's more, most in, most important is how to how to operate within the machine and therefore within the mind, because we are existing within the mind of the all. This endless, almost almost, if I dare say, patronizing bombardment of this everything is an illusion idea is ridiculous nothing nothing is real it's getting old and and also quite confusing unnecessarily confusing i might add yes it's an illusion does it matter no it doesn't matter that this is all an illusion as if that helps us as if that helps our soul evolve are you still here to evolve your soul yes so is this uh so is this realm real as far as your journey goes does it matter? In this case, you're damn right it does. And you're damn right it does matter. It is equally as real as it is not real. And the understanding of how that unravels, the under the understanding of the uh, of that paradox determines whether your soul succeeds or not. Tell me, would you tell yourself it was all an illusion if a nuke went off in your city? You're standing there and you see a nuke go off and you see the cloud coming towards you. You're holding your family in your hands. It's kind of dark, but this is my point. Would you tell yourself it's all an illusion? Would you tell your child, go back to playing your... You might, but here's the thing in that. What what, what telling yourself that... It, by telling yourself that it's all an illusion... Uh, by telling yourself it's all an illusion, you sort of give yourself an escape goat. You give yourself an excuse, an excuse to not move forward or to not be successful or to not accomplish a thing or to not acknowledge a thing like the case of the nuke. Because honestly, I might tell my child that if it makes them feel better, but that's what it does. All it does is it is it makes us feel better. This it's all an illusion It's like, oh, OK. And that's where we get that's where we get back to the fluff of the new age spirituality. That's really annoying. Um. As much fluff and feel good as possible, because that's where our inspiration comes from, um, or, or or not. Anywho, it's just where I choose to exist from. So, um, yes, telling yourself it's all an illusion when something is really bad, when something really bad happens, does help in easing your pain, but it does not help in overcoming what's causing the pain in the first place, which is acknowledging that. There are things you can do to make your life better. And that telling yourself it's all an illusion, so who cares, is a very dangerous game to play. Right? It's dangerous. That's why I call it a half-truth. Is it all an illusion? Yes. But living in the frame of mind that it's all an illusion, is that healthy? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Again, if a nuke goes off and you're trying to, to... make your family feel better because you're holding your children in your arms and your wife is there and you're just like it's okay babe it's all an illusion at that point like sure let's run it (laughs) we've reached the end of the line let's run it but that's not how it's being used 
It's not how it's being used. Most of the time it's being used like, I, I, like I said, well, I already, I don't want to beat a dead horse. We'll keep reading. We have to, we're unraveling the script. I think this is going to make a great video when we sort of consolidate our thoughts. Um, tell me, would you tell yourself I did that? Uh, the other example was if your car is about to go over a cliff, would you tell yourself it's all an illusion? No, absolutely. Calling something an illusion gives it the quality of, of not having any meaning, of not taking this reality seriously. Always strive for balance because it's the closest to godhood that any of us could possibly obtain. I was thinking of titling the video of that, but also I don't want to title that because I don't want to give away what the video is. I want to give some sort of, that's why I think the, the maybe the opening idea of the video is something like, like this. The title would be, there is a very prominent idea that is presented in New Age spirituality that undermines all the work that the student undergoes. What do you guys think about that title? Um... Again, and the idea is everything is an illusion. Bashar talks about that all the time, and it drives me crazy. It makes you, it, it, it sucks you into the hype of feel good, which is a which is a great place to be. I love being in that place, but I want to earn the feel good. I want to feel good because because I've overcome obstacles, because I've learned how to make better decisions, because I've learned how to manifest faster, because I've learned how to control, how to, how to recognize natural law and therefore apply it to my own life so that I can manifest faster, so that I can give good analogies of the law of vibration, so that I could teach that to other people so that they can wrap their heads around these natural laws. I love that. Right. But you don't do that by saying it's all an illusion, because by saying it's all an illusion is... Why try? If there, if everything, if there's no meaning in anything until you apply meaning to it, then what's the then what's the point of knowledge? If you can just change the definition of anything because you feel like it, what's the point of learning anything? What's the what's the point in evolving your soul if evolving your soul doesn't matter? If it's all an illusion, it is all an illusion. But unless you're in source, I'll write this down. It is all an illusion, but unless you're in source, you'll never escape. And uh, so, so it is all an illusion, but unless you're in source, you'll never escape. Why is that important? Why? Why is that important? It's important to understand this idea that everything is an illusion. Uh, how would I? But unless you're in source, you'll never escape. The reason is why is because you know how we study as above, so below. Well, as above, so below says that law operates on every plane of existence. And so if it happens here, it must be happening everywhere. That, that it's all an illusion is a definition and the all is not, the all source is not, it cannot be defined by anything because there's nothing outside of itself for which to define itself. Right to de to define something is to cut everything out, to, de to define something is to say it is this and nothing else. And to say that the all is this and only this and not this is a falsity. Right, so the all cannot be an illusion. the The all cannot be truth. The all cannot be defined by anything because to define it as something is to say it is this and nothing outside of this. And since the, nothing is outside of the all, you cannot define it. Right. That's why the all is the only absolute truth. 
And that's that's the half truth that is given to get the foot in the door for this insidious topic that we're that I'm trying to make a video of. This idea that it's all an illusion. Yes, that is truth because because we are existing within the mind of the all. So yes, you are correct in that it is all an illusion. But so is the fourth dimension. So is the fifth dimension. Right? It's not like it's not like only the third dimension is the illusion and everything else is real. It's not. Because real is unchanging. Real, the absolute underlying substantial reality of all things is unchanging. And that is and that is not the fifth dimension. The fifth dimension is subject to change. The sixth, the seventh, the eighth, everything is subject to change. Therefore, it is all to a degree an illusion. But that doesn't mean it's in the micro. That doesn't mean it's not real. That doesn't mean there's no such thing as knowledge. There's no such thing as truth in any given situation. Because if that's the case, and this is what I think is happening, the reason why I, I think the idea of new, the, why the New Age conception, this is a New Age conception, is pushed so hard is to create a, an, an overblown ego in the, in, the, in the spiritual occult sort of mind to say that I am God, which is silly. You know what I'm saying? It's like Shakespeare or it's like it's like Hamlet. One of Shakespeare's characters jumping out, going, I am Shakespeare. No, you're Hamlet's not Shakespeare. He's an aspect of Shakespeare. Absolutely. But he's not Shakespeare. He's not Shakespeare. Uh, Gandalf is not J.R. Tolkien. He's an aspect of him. He exists within the mind of Tolkien, but he is not. That's the same as you and I. We are not God. We are aspects of it. And because we are aspects of it, we have the same sort of powers to a varying degree as it. The power of mind, the power of creating through mind, for example. Um, and, and again, natural law, natural law, how we create, how we manifest things, that's what we study so that we can navigate whatever dimension you find yourself in. We, this is how we evolve towards oneness. And this is why, this is, some might say, why we don't live in an absolute reality. Why it's all an illusion? Because if it were real, if this were real and therefore unchanging, right? Because if something is here today and gone tomorrow, it's not necessarily real. If it's true today and not true tomorrow, then it's not necessarily true. It's a half truth. But on the bright side, how we can use this to our benefit is to know that, okay, since there's such thing as change, I can get better. And on the flip side, that means I can get worse. But at least you can do something. At least you can have an existence. At least you can have an infinite amount of existences. Anywho, uh, that's the video. Um, and I'll, uh, I guess I can break that down. I, I, I asked some passive questions in this video. I don't know if you remember those questions. I hope you answered them in the comment section because I can't remember them now. But they would really help me define what the video is. Again, this type of video that I'm doing here, reading from my, my notes and stuff, is I'm showing you guys how I script videos, or at least how I will be scripting videos for the most part in the future with a nice hook, a nice title, a nice thumbnail, um, the idea I'm presenting, how I unpackage the idea, if it's captivating, how I can make it more captivating. And I want to share that with the Patreon members and the channel members so that you can be a part of the process and actually help me because this actually is one of the ways creators like myself make better content by sharing it with the people who care most about their content, like my channel members and my Patreon supporters, um, giving it to you guys, getting feedback, letting you be a part of the process and, and just, whoa, this is how it happens. I've always wanted to be a content creator. This is how one of them does it. And to be a part of the process where you're helping me make better content. So thank you guys. I would appreciate comments. Um, this one's for the the entire channel. I'm thinking maybe of releasing at least two or three of these types to everyone so that everyone knows what's going on. Or at least a lot of people know that this is available um, so I can build up the uh, support group. Anywho, thank you guys. I appreciate the hell out of you. Um, I, I, I have... I liked this. That was cool because when I do it this way, it's almost like three or four. I had uh, three or four other video ideas pop up, which is nice. And I don't have to do that many edits because this isn't a edited type of video. Anywho, thank you guys. I love you. Please, if you would like to get more videos like this and be a part of the process, uh, I will be releasing videos like these in the future only on Patreon and for my uh, channel members because I can upload videos and make them available only to people who support the channel on YouTube or who support the channel via Patreon. So um, keep that in mind. Thank you for the support. 
And what else? Is that it? I think that's it for this video. I'm excited. I'm excited. Right, I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon.